special keto bouli recipe starting now. We talk about a little bit of keto science and we do some keto recipes. If this is your first time here, please consider subscribing and don't forget to click that bell icon so you never miss a thing. Today we're doing another installment of I Like to Eat and this is a recipe that I'm going to call Keto Bouli. It is basically a, a tabbouleh but instead of a bulgur wheat base we're using cauliflower. So to start, you're going to need about a pound of cauliflower, which you can either pulse up uh, to make cauliflower rice in a food processor, or if you have a Trader Joe's near you, like I do, you can just grab a pound of already riced cauliflower. Okay, so first you're just going to dump your riced cauliflower into a microwave safe bowl, and you're going to add one tablespoon of olive oil and about a quarter teaspoon of salt. We will put some cling wrap on top of this and put it in the microwave for about three minutes. So we're just going to stir it up and put it on a pizza tray. This might actually taste good to me. It might actually taste good to you? I hope so. <laughs> so we will just set this thing aside, let the cauliflower rice cool down while we prepare all of the other ingredients. So next we're going to add my daughter's favorite ingredient, cilantro. Uh, we're going to pluck the leaves from the big stems, and then we're going to chop them up. You're going to be okay? No. <laughs> we're going to put it over onto our mat. We're going to chop this up in just a minute. We're going to get our one more cup over here. And then we're going to take our two cups of cilantro leaves and just kind of chop them up. Uh, it doesn't have to be super fine, but fine enough so that, you know, you're not choking on entire leaves. Oh, make them big so we can take them out. Or you could make them big so you can take them out. There's our cilantro chopped up. Next, we're going to do the same thing, uh, but this time with mint leaves and only one cup. I'm going to dump them out. The next thing we're going to add is two scallions, and we're going to use the white to about where it starts to get a little darker green. We're going to do the same thing with one clove of garlic. Next, we're gonna zest a lemon. We need a teaspoon of fresh lemon zest. Caroline, you wanna you wanna do it? Mm-hmm. Alrighty. <laughs> Nicely done. So we're going to save this lemon because in a few minutes we're gonna get some juice out of it, about three tablespoons of lemon juice. So here's our big purple mixing bowl. We're gonna start putting our ingredients into this. We'll mix it up in here and then put it in our nice serving bowl when we're done. So let's get all of this loose lemon zest in here. The lemon zest that made it into the bowl. Garlic. That's garlic? Yep. We will add our, wait till I sally in on the scallions. We will add our mint. And we'll start with about half of our cilantro. We may add the whole thing, but uh, we'll start with about half. So we'll put about half of this in. That's good, that's good, that's good. Okay. <laughs> so just a couple more ingredients to put in before we mix everything together. Cucumber, which I'll chop up now and some halved uh, cherry tomatoes. We're gonna halve, halve these tomatoes. Okay, cherry tomatoes are in. Next, we're gonna add three quarter tablespoons of salt. Then we'll add four tablespoons of olive oil. Two, three, four. Next, we're gonna take our lemon, which we just recently shaved, Cut it in half and squeeze all of the juice from both halves into our bowl. It'll give us about three tablespoons. Um, and Caroline, do you want to do the honors? All right, good girl. And give her a squeeze. <laughs> nice, you're getting it. Oh, squeeze it, yeah. Oh yeah, daddy power. Oh, oh it's squirted it everywhere. All right, so we're almost there. We're gonna take the tray full of rice cauliflower that is definitely cooled down uh, at this point. And we're gonna add it carefully so I don't make a mess all over the floor. Get this all into our mixing bowl. Oh, careful, careful. All right, good job, pizza pan. And then the last ingredient we're gonna add is this rotisserie chicken. Uh, this probably has about two or three cups worth of chicken in it. We're just gonna add it as we stir until it looks good. I'm guessing around two cups. We may just add the whole thing, but uh, that's the last ingredient and we'll stir it all up then we'll get into our pretty uh, serving bowl. We're just gonna kinda eyeball it here and see what looks good. It's starting to look right. 
It's starting to look right, but it does need more cilantro. Sorry, Carolyn. No! <laughs> Sorry. We'll put a dash more cilantro in it. And, put, I mean, like the rest of it. And no, it goes. No, 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 no. And it goes. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at that. That is pretty. It is pretty. I think it needs more green. There. I think we're pretty much there. Yeah. All right, so I will do a quick taste test before we put it into our serving bowl. Does it need salt no, and pepper? It's really, it's pretty much perfect. All right, so now we'll just transfer it to our lovely white serving bowl. It does look good. So there it is. That's the keto bouli. My wife and I landed on this recipe yesterday when we were trying to come up with something to bring to a picnic that we were invited to. My wife does Weight Watchers, is not on keto. I am on keto. This was a very happy medium for us. Uh, when you go to a picnic, there's a lot of pasta, there's a lot of hamburger buns, there's a lot of just carby, carby stuff that wasn't really friendly to either of us. Um, but this really uh, hit the nail on the head. I will flash the macros up on screen right now, the approximate macros. Uh, if you're doing vegetarian, you can always leave the chicken out. Uh, it's really modifiable and we really like it. So that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please consider subscribing if this is your first time here and I hope you have a fantastic day. I will see you soon.